discuss this with Dennis McShane. He's a former British MP and a Minister for Europe, joining us from London. Dennis, good to have you on this news hour. Dennis, how common is this to see someone like Christine Lee, who was once part of a lobby group, donate to both Conservatives and, and Labour? I mean, she actually hasn't been charged with anything because they can't really find that she's done anything illegal. Yes, it's very strange. She also gave lots and lots of money to the leader of the Liberal Party, Sir Ed Davy. So I think as an agent of the Chinese state, she's not a self-standing lawyer with millions of pounds to hand out to politicians. She's doing it on behalf of China to get influence. But China has so much influence here anyway. A large number of former ministers of the David Cameron era are now serving as directors of, Ch of Chinese companies, heads of or vice presidents of Chinese banks. And China has a huge influence in our universities. There are many, 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 as, as, as with the Europeans, uh, Europeans have uh, largely disappearing from London, but they're being replaced by Chinese. So uh, we're all, everybody's a bit b baffled by bringing MI5 into this. Actually, James Bond worked for MI6, not MI5. That's a domestic intelligence agency. Uh, but, of course, it changes a little bit the news agenda, which is focusing so seriously on uh, Mr. Boris Johnson at the moment. So people are a little bit cynical about the timing of this announcement. Well, that is, it is very interesting, the timing of this announcement. And you speak of uh, China having so much influence in the UK in the first place. But over the last few months, when it comes to an issue like Hong Kong, for example, Britain has had a very firm stance against what it believes is Chinese uh, influence in Hong Kong and this uh, withering away of, of democracy by certain rules that Beijing is, is implementing there. So could that be one of the issues that China will be wanting to address with the UK or have some sort of influence on? Because the UK has also offered visas to people in Hong Kong who want to come and live in the country. I don't think China can influence what uh, everybody in Britain thinks about Hong Kong. Uh, the Chinese have been in breach of the solemn handover agreement. They are imposing uh, their own communist ideas of press freedom and uh, on political freedom on Hong Kong, which is very, very sad. And yes, Britain will stand by Hong Kong. There's a very powerful lobby in Britain against the uh, human rights abuse of Mus Uyghur Muslims in Xinjiang province in northeast China, bordering with Kazakhstan. Uh, and a lot of concern expressed in a very high level. Chairman of the Parliament of the, Far of the House of Commons Foreign Affairs Committee, for example, has been very strong. Other House of Commons committees and MPs have been very strong. This is also linked into the growing American concern and the, and the big lobby uh, from American conservatives uh, to take on China. But that's up to China to decide what to do. I mean, mm -hmm. if it oppresses mm -hmm. people, if it doesn't allow press freedom to exist, you can't expect people in democracies just to sit down and say nothing about it. Uh, Dennis, very quickly, if you can, when it comes to Christine Lee and lobby groups, where's the line here between lobbying and diplomatic overreach that then amounts to accusations of spying. The big problem is, in Britain, our political system depends on outside donations from uh, big business, from foreign business, from the Kremlin, from Beijing. And until we clean that up, I notice you had the King of the Netherlands on just a moment before me. In the Netherlands, other modern European countries, democracy pays for democracy. And until we move to that in Britain, we'll always be dependent on anybody coming in with, with a lot of money. Um, and that's, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm called by somebody else. Uh, and that's a big, big difficulty. Uh, and Miss Lee can go around signing her checks to anybody she likes. I don't think she's any real impact on policy, nor does it, uh, Beijing have any real access or control over, over Britain. But the plain fact is that in economic terms, our universities, our researchers, mm -hmm. our parliamentarians, mm -hmm. we're getting too dependent on China, which is not a democratic or friendly state. Dennis McShane, really appreciate your insight on this story. Thank you so much.